the Shaw Kirby 707, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last part, we started on Arbiter's Grounds, and we got three of the four poles that took the little fire in the dungeon. In this part, you're going to continue. Anyways, onward then. Oh, gee, this room. Okay, then. You want, might want to bring out bombs out this time. Alright. Anyways, if you go over... Well, I was going to go near the chest, but the door locked. We got Staffos, yes. But these guys are a little bit different. Instead of just hack slashing them in Ocarina of Time, you want to use your bombs. Bombs will only destroy them. Well, you can hack slash them, but they will not be dead. I said just waiting until the bomb explodes, then they would be killed. So yeah, that's the only way to kill them. If you did not kill them with a bomb, they would just keep coming back alive. So... You do want to take them down with a bomb. So just drop a bomb near them and, well, just wait. And they explode and then they would be dead again. Alright, we got another trash chest here. I believe it's going to contain a small key. No, more bombs. Okay. I could have sworn there was another chest here, like a big one that contained like a key, but I guess not. No, they don't. Okay, I was thinking of a turret room maybe. Or something else. Alright, anyway, let's head on through. And, oh, this room. This room? Um, a lot of people did not know. A lot of people just gas on this room. What you want to do is use your pole set. And you see there are a bunch of torches. If you light the wrong one, something bad will happen. You will get attacked by enemies, fellow children, and bugs and whatnot. If you follow the ones that are being, well, I guess hovering on, that's the one that you need to light. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't. I mean, unless you're hunting down the last hole and you don't know where it's at, I guess it would be kind of makes sense to have your wolf sense on. But still, my first time playing this, I actually got the right combination right. Like, the, the, the front one and then the one on the right. I did not use my wolf sense. I actually got this right my first time playing this game, which is really, really cool, to be honest. I don't know why I transformed to a wolf, but I might as well. Uh, let's see, what's in this room? It is... Oh, the last hole! Good! Good, 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 good! Alright. Anyways, there's the last hole. Now, in tradition to the forest temple in Ocarina Time, yep, this one's exclusive to four as well, so you gotta find the real one. So, same rule applies, find the real one and take him down. So yeah, um, do not target them just yet. I recommend just wait until... Well, actually, yeah, you do target them, because that way the camera can widen up more. Uh, this one will be- no, 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 crap. Yeah, if you do not get him, he will attack you. Alright, come on. I do like the symbol on the ground, it looks kind of cool actually, come on. Okay, I guess you gotta trigger them to run around. Alright, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, where are you? Right here, gotcha, aha! So yeah, it's just like the one in Ocarina of Time with the Poe Sister Meg, so if you try to... Come on, do your little spinny thing. Jeez, I was waiting for them to do their spinny thing. Alright, come on. Let's find the real one. And I got the right one! Ha ha! And you are mine. Alright? Give me that fire, because I need it. Alright, and I believe that's number 40... I don't know. 41? 42? 41? I don't know. I lost track of how many poles I got so far. But we got all four posts in the dungeon, which is really good, which I can mark down on my notes. There we go. Alright. All four taken down. How many do we have? 41. Okay. Alright, so now we collected all the puzzles. Let's get out of here and, well, go to the main room. Because now that we lit all the torches, we can go back and progress even more further in this dungeon. Really good. Really good. Alright. Let us go through here and drop down and let's continue onward. Alrighty then. Okay, so like I said, now that we lit all four torches, the gate shall be open. Alright, come on game. And there we go. The way is open. Yay! Alright. Now we can progress through this dungeon. Well, the second half of this dungeon. Yeah, I really call this half the first half. And then this is the second half. Pretty much. That's what I call it. Alright, so then we got a big massive, whoa, big massive oops, bubble in our way. Um, I do not want to stab it. I actually just want to 
kill these guys regularly. Alright, anyway, we got a little small little indentation of some kind of gear. Hmm. And we got a wall, which is blocking our path. We could climb through that. I mean, realistically, we could climb over that, but Link can't. So we had to find another way to get through there. Alright. And on the other side, there is a big key chest. I said big key, not boss key. I said big key chest. I was correct. But we can't go over there. Oh my god, I saw him. We can't go over there because, well, we can't go over this sand pit. And, well, we don't have something to go across it with. So we're going to go on through this side. Alright, anyways, let's go on through here. And I believe, oh yeah, the elevator room. The elevator room. I call this the elevator room. <laughs> I can't quite remember. Can I flash through this? I believe I can. Yes, I can. Okay, go! Good, 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 good. Where are you? Where are you? Get out of here. Actually, maybe I can, I can still try to get this, I think. Can I? Oh, I, oh wait, no, I can't. I think I can still get the trash chest from here. Can I? No, there's a room up ahead, though. Oh, hello, 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 hello. I do not want to be disturbed right now. Um, I need to get through that room, though. Okay, fine, whatever. Ugh, actually, no, hold on. Ugh, let's go down here first. I want to check what's down here, one by one. Okay, nothing, okay. Nothing at all. A bunch of bubbles that I can kill. Alright. Uh, we do need to head up, I believe. So I think that's... No, that's down. I want to head up. Because there is a key that we need to get. Uh, yeah, we need to go one more floor. And there we go. Because right here, there is a key, but these needles are blocking our way. Go and die. It's just easy. Just go around here and just get the key. Simple as that. <laughs> not too hard. It's not a hard puzzle at all. Just go around and just get your key. That's pretty much it. Because there's a door in the lowest level in this room, so... I kind of want to go up first before we do. Alright, so we got that done. Let's go down. Three floors down, I believe. If I'm correct. Yep, three floors down. I was correct. Woohoo! Alright, and here we go. Ah, voice crack there. Ugh. Oh, this room, this room. Okay, this room has a bunch of ghost rats. Alright, so you might want to be a wolf for this part. And also watch out because these floors have spikes on them. Not only that, there are good nice um in this room too. Alright, so we got ghost rash flash onto us. Get off, will ya? Sheesh. Alright, yeah, you, you can see them actually um padding through the floor. If you see them, then it's more like a ghost rat that are coming to come after you. Go get off, will ya? Sheesh. Alright, um, I believe there's a Gibdo Knight up here. No, it's on the other side. Okay, it's only one Gibdo Knight, I forgot. Minna, I know, I know, I know. Alright. Okay, Gibdo Knight right here. Yeah, I recommend just going behind this guy and just gnaw his head. Alright. Oh! Go ahead, destroy him, destroy him, destroy him! I said, there you go, bite his head off. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'd be way down. There we go. You do want to kind of take care of most of the ghost bugs in this room because, well, you're going to race against time in this portion. Alright, let's destroy these guys real quick because I do not want to be latched onto. Alright, so anyway, nope, I hear more. I hear more. Yep, I hear more. Where are you? There you are. You know what? Take you. Never mind. Nope, we have more. Yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, there we go. Is that all of them? I hope that's all of them because... There is a switch on this side, and, well, what that does, it opens this gate. Now, since there are needles around here, it's going to be kind of hard to race, or kind of going to be a little bit challenging to race against the door closing. Anyway. Oh, come on. Pull, I said. Why are you not pulling? Pull more. Okay, whatever. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Oh, wrong way. Come on. Like, go, 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 go. Go, and there we go. You! Alright. Really, Minna? Come on. There's only one singing rat. Man. Well, I, I would kind of freak out too if I was Minna. I would freak out too. Oh, we got more bugs. You know what? Alright, let's transfer back to normal and use our lantern. Go away, bugs! I have light. Back off. I have light. And if you go on this side, there is Uku. Yeah, let's just get get this over with and meet with Uku. Yeah, 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 hello. Free at last, blah, blah, blah. We've been through this three times now. 
Alright. Yes, this is gonna be a, a occurring theme in every dungeon. You will find Uku in every dungeon, so yeah. Oh my god, get off, get off. I don't like bugs, I hate bugs. Ugh. I hate bugs. Alright, <laughs> anyways. Alright, yeah, this room. I remember this room now. Bugs, go away. I don't want to get hit by those spikes. That'd be really, really dangerous for me to do. Get hit. Oh, boy. Go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Shoot, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow, I dodged that. That was really, really close. Um, I do need my bomb now. You don't really need your boomerang for this part. You just need your bombs. Because we got, well... More Stapos! Oh joy! Alrighty, come on guys! Come on! Get over here! So I can drop the bomb! I want to drop the bomb on you! Come on! Three, two, one, and... Glowy! Alright. And we got another Stapos Knight here, which... Yeah, you do need to destroy all of these guys, because... Well, in Zelda fashion, if you destroy all the enemies in the room, you will... Unlock the gate! Nice! Alright. Alright, ah, uh, bugs, don't get off, will ya? Sheesh. These bugs are quite annoying. <laughs> they really are annoying. Alright, let's turn that off for now. Let's just run through, run through. Alright. Alrighty then. Now let's have this on and just climb through. Um, actually, it'll be a lot better if I just la or use a claw shot, but since we have lantern on, we don't need to worry about, well, these guys trying to get on Link. Alright, get on top, there we go. And, well, we have a mini boss coming up. Yes, a mini boss. And I gotta say, I love this mini boss. Well, at least the look of this guy. This guy is actually pretty cool looking, to be honest. Alright, inside here, we have a giant sword. I want that sword. I want it! I want it! Looks really cool. But the sword, yeah, we kind of broke the seal, I guess. I, I, I believe the sword was sealed, so it kind of makes sense. Alright, so much for having that cool sword. It looks really cool, though. I would love to have that sword. Alright, so if something is invisible and is attacking us, let's find out and see what it is. So this is technically our first wolf battle, wolf mini boss battle. If we turn into a wolf, you can see this guy. Oh, so you gotta watch out and just attack him, and he will come visible. I I don't remember this guy's name. But he, has, he has a cool name, but I just don't remember. But this guy looks really cool, though. He looks really cool, though, for a mini boss. I wish he was the main boss of this of this dungeon. Oh, why do I have that on? I don't need that on. Okay. All right, attack him with a claw shot. Arrows or claw shot, either one will work. So after you claw him or attack him, he will attack you, and after Chen to attack him, or dodge, then attack him. Alright. So yeah, this guy's really cool. I like the music for this guy, and not only that, he looks really awesome. He has a cool name, I just can't remember. I don't remember his name. Huh. So yeah, now we do a backslash. Backslice! Why do you keep saying backslash? I've been playing a lot of Smash Bros. lately. I keep doing that. Jeez. Alright, nope. Come here. Nope. Come back here. There we go, claw him. <laughs> yeah, you just you just have to touch him and then that's it. He will trigger this attack and then you can Oh! Oh oh I stopped his attack. Nice. I thought I was gonna get hit, but wow. Anyways, this guy's down. You look really cool for a boss. Why can't you be the main boss for the dungeon? That'll be awesome. But well I guess the main boss is actually a lot more better than this guy. The boss for the dungeon is really cool, which we will see probably in the next part. Alright, anyway, the door's unlocked. Now we can get on through here. And this, well, gives us a nice fancy room. I like this temple a lot. It's really nice looking. Anyway, inside this chest, we get our dungeon item, which is called the Spinner, an ancient machine designed to float over land. Or I like to call it the medieval skateboard. <laughs> I call it the medieval skateboard because it literally acts like a skateboard, sort of. So we want to do... Whenever you see these grind rails on the wall, you not use a claw shot, you can grind on them. So you can run on these these spinner rails and, well, you can pretty much ride through them. So yeah, let's, I call it the medieval skateboard because it acts like a skateboard because you're skating across the floor and, well, you can hop across. So I call it the, the medieval skateboard of Legend of Zelda. 
That's what I call it. I always call the Mima skateboard. All right, anyways, now that we have Spinner, we can go on these rails and we can progress through. Yeah, I believe we're gonna get to the bottom of the next part. I do wanna get the big key before we uh, end this part though. Anyways, this room gives you more practice on the spinner, so it's really nice. You press B to pop across and watch out for these spinny things because they will knock you down. Because this area is filled with sand, so you do not want to sink in the sand. Alright, so anyways, just hop through here, and, and there is a stylus here, which we just want to ignore. I really want to ignore him. And we got our second harpies in this dungeon, which is harpies number 27, I believe. Alright, uh, let's get our bombs out just in case. But I'm just gonna ignore him. Let's just go! Oh my god, that was very close! Oh my god, that was very close. That was very close. That was a close call. Very close. Alright, anyways, just ride around. And go up. This is really fun though. This is really fun. I love the spinner. I wish there was more uses for the spinner in this game, but there's not really much uses for the spinner. He got a lot of use for the spinner in Hyrule Warriors as a weapon, but yeah. I'd rather just use it as Twilight Princess. Oh! No! I made it! No! Dang it! Ah, oh, fudge. That was worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, it took a couple try to get through that portion, but it's not too bad, though. Not too bad. Alright, uh, let's just try this again. Try it again! Oh, boy! Oh, fudge! Dang it. Come on, game. Cut me some slack, and there are stuff going after me. I do not want to be gotten by Stalpos. No, sorry. Alright, maybe I should wait. Uh, wait till that one goes away and go. Go, 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 go! Yes! Alright! Oh! Shoot, shoot, shoot! I did not see that, that last one there. I did not see that one. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> let's probably take a couple of tries. Uh, a couple of tries. It's all about timing, really. Really, it's all about timing. Alright, I'm gonna wait till that one goes away and go! Come on! Why am I having a hard time going through this? Seriously, why am I having a hard time going through this? I'm gonna lose all my hearts if I don't do this correctly. Maybe I'm just... I don't know, I guess I'm kind of rushing too much! Too much! Too much! Oh my god, yes! Finally! <laughs> a lot of hopping, but I made it. It's really, it's a really fun item. I love the, the spinner. It's a really fun new item in this game. It's really, really fun. Anyways, we have the big key. Yes, alright. I guess this is, a, this is a really short dungeon when I think about it. We only did this in three parts so far. Yeah, or two parts maybe. Not too bad. Anyways, um, now that we got the spinner, we can actually open this up. Really, really nice. Yeah, we're actually gonna head to the boss in the next part. The boss is right up ahead. That's really cool. Okay. All right. Open this up. And there we go. The way is open. All right. But we will head to this room in the next part. Yes, guys, I'm going to leave you guys right in the middle of this room. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we will face the boss in Arbiter's Grounds. So I will see you guys then. So this is Shaw Kirby 707 saying bye.